Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and today I am coming on to share with you these little altered cups that I created. Um, it was for a swap that I participated in in uh, my friend Judy's group, and I will put a link to her group below so you can go over there. We do a lot of fun things in there. But it was for three altered cups that needed to hang, which was nice because then I could dangle a bunch of stuff off the bottom like I, t like, I like to do. <laughs> So I started out with these because this is what I had in my stash. And I decoupaged the whole cup in music paper so that on the inside, that's what you'd see. Isn't that pretty? Not that anybody's going to see that, but it still is pretty. <laughs> then I covered the outside with strips of fabric. And then the fun began. So I put this beautiful um, pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts, which Kim has in several different colors. One of the best trims and the, one of the trims I use the most from her store. So that is um, on the inside and coming off the bottom. And then I added this trim right here from her shop and I just slit down the middle so that it would lay better. And then I added this trim from my stash. Then I put this beautiful pearl dangle from Angel Dream Crafts. Isn't that gorgeous? So that is around the bottom of every cup. I used the sari silk from her store to hang the cup. And then I just put on these uh, heart appliques uh, to hold the seam, uh, sari silk on. And then the cup, uh, part of the requirements was that it needed to have a touch of pink, but you could see I was very much in neutral uh, zone <laughs> when I was making these. So I was like, how am I gonna add pink? Um, so I put this pretty little um, applique that I cut off of this that I love, and I actually don't have any of that piece left because I used the last three on these cups. I put that down and then I put one of these white, um, what do you call these, shabby rosettes uh, from Kim's shop and she does have them in a few different colors. I love them. So I put that on there and then I was like, okay, now it's time to think about the pink. So I broke into my stash of Angel Dream Craft cabochons and I found some that had hints of pink and were just so cute. So I popped them right in the middle of the rosette and then I made a pink bow and then don't you love these these are for, from Kim's shop too I put them right in the middle of that bow so stinking cute so what I was thinking since I had to make three okay here's another one in this one I am going to put doll pins uh, full of lace I haven't put the lace on them yet but that's what's going to go in this one so cute and then in the third one, I made a pin cushion. Y'all, I had to. So here's this one, isn't it so pretty? And then I used some fabric from Kim's shop to create the pin cushion. And the pin cushion is removable. It's just popped in there. So if she doesn't want to have the pin cushion there, she doesn't have to. I covered the bottom. So it would just be cute, a cute little pin cushion. And then I created some really pretty stick pins, which is one of my favorite, favorite things to do. So I did that and that just nestles right down in there. Right, isn't that so adorable? So cute. So for the, for this one, um, I created kind of like a snippet roll, but um, just to gift some other things to my swap partner. So let me show you what I did. I had a, 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 what do you call that? A piece together strip. It has a bunch of different fabrics on it. And then I just layered uh, some of Kim's lace on either side, this big, beautiful lace. And then this sweet pink lace is what's covering the top of this, which I do have a piece left. So it's nice and wide and covered covered what I needed to cover because I wanted to kind of mute down the fabric strip that I used. And then I just pinned everything on with the white bulb pins that you can get from Kim's shop. 
And uh, so she's getting a lot of bulb pins. <laughs> Because I was like, I wanted her to be able to use everything and get everything off easily. So uh, bulb pens is what I decided to use. Oh, little snippet. So this beautiful charm is from Kim Shop. Everything, almost every single thing on here is from Kim Shop. So I'll just tell you if it isn't. <laughs> because it all is these enamel sewing machine charms. These are some snippet little snippet flowers that I cut off of this lace these right here so those are there one of Kim's buckle sliders the heart one of her rosettes in pink put right there these are the hearts from this trim so I cut a few off of those for her this was a butterfly that I had in my stash that was gifted to me and I kept one and then I gifted one to my swap partner. This is a dragonfly charm from Kim Shop. This is one of my favorite charms from Kim Shop. It has the key and the lock. Okay, super, super cute. Then the uh, beautiful butterfly charm, I mean ballerina. This is uh, pinned on it was a bling from Kim's store. This little crown from Kim's shop. This is a metal heart that I had in my stash that I just think is beautiful. A couple of vintage doilies that I have in my stash. This is, it depends on who's using it. I think it might be called a fairy charm in Kim's shop, but to me it's like an angel. So there's that charm. Another rosette. A beautiful, beautiful beaded butterfly. Um, I have a stash of these that Karen Billinger created. They're just beautiful. So I popped one of those on here. Here is uh, some bows from Kim Shop in white. This is just pinned on. This beautiful bling is also from Kim Shop. This is one of Kim's cabochons that I just attached a bale to. It's just so cute. And then this beautiful crown bling. So I'm just gonna roll that up and then tie some sari uh, ribbon around it and tuck it right in here. And I just think that will be so cute. So I will have a link to all the other designers on the team, including Karen Billinger, who creates these beautiful beaded butterflies. Um, they're all, everybody on the team is so inspiring. Be sure you go and check them out. And of course, you'll find a link below too. Uh, Kim's shop and I would love to know what you think of my little um, altered hanging cups they were so fun to make so cute and actually these I had these pinned on my Pinterest one of my Pinterest boards for a long time so this goes along with the trying to check things off my to do Pinterest board <laughs> and I just love them so don't forget to give me a thumbs up everyone and I'll see you on the next one bye everybody